Hey, Munchie Mafia. So tonight we are making some shrimp and smoked pork belly chow mein. This is leftovers from um, the last several days. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> What we have here is some of our smoked pork belly cut into little cubes, also known as lardons. And we have Argentinian shrimp, they're red shrimps. Um, the smoked pineapple. I did cut up some, um, some celery. We have a little bit of leftover cabbage and some white onion that's been uh, julienned. So. Now, if you have a bunch of leftovers, by all means, make it your own. But here's how we're gonna start. We also have some um, of the smoked garlic and lemon to add later, some lime, cilantro, maybe, maybe not, and uh, some of the uh, special sauce that we used for the um, pork belly sliders. We're going to need chicken broth and I'm really loving these Blue Dragon Thin Cantonese noodles. Um, now if you're looking for a healthier alternative um, or gluten-free, what you could use is you could use zoodles or your own uh, favorite um, gluten-free spaghetti even. Now if you don't want to spend the money that these things cost, you can definitely go and get yourself some top ramen and just use just the noodles. Just throw away the seasoning packet. That stuff is bad for you anyway. So, we're pretty freaking hungry. I just got off work. So, uh, probably going to make not all of it, uh, but a good majority of it. Already preheated the wok back here and gonna just give it a little dabble of the pure sesame oil and we're gonna begin. We're gonna start with our pork belly. And hope that we don't set off the smoke detector. We're going to let this render down a little bit and get a little bit of a, some color to it because it kind of looks a little, a little sad, a little blah, a little, a little pale. And you know, when it comes to pork belly, you know, we think about what does bacon look like when it's the perfect, the perfect cook. So let me know in the comments. How you like your bacon or pork belly? Do you like it limpy or do you like it super crispy or somewhere in the middle? Or if you don't like pork, you don't have to add pork. You could add other things, um, some little chunks of fish um, like snapper or cod or salmon or you can do uh, turkey bacon even or even just some chicken. Um, if you don't eat shrimp or you're allergic to shrimp, you know, find something else to make this. Um, or just make a vegetarian one if you want. So, this is just how we do it around here. You can definitely give it a whirl some other way. So, these are starting to get a little bit of color to it, not as much as I'd like it to have. So we're just going to let it just sit there and get happy for a few moments and gather up all of our other stuff. We got our garlic cloves. I'm going to actually give them a good little crush here. So let's scoot those over. I'm just going to take our knife. Now these are semi-soft, so they're going to be easy to break down with the side of your knife. 
or if you have one of those garlic presses you can definitely use that I like a lot of garlic because you know you just never know if you're gonna run into a vampire especially you know considering that we're coming into uh, Halloween season here pretty soon okay so let's just give it a rough chop I got one of my noodles in there by accident it doesn't have to be perfect you know whatever you feel most comfortable with if you want to use garlic press that's okay too and again this is this is our smoked garlic so now we're going to drop that in and we're going to give it a stirry stir we're getting a lot of color on there uh, some aren't quite coloring it's still very fragrant with that rub that we use we use the uh, star and east foods Vietnamese barbecue rub it was the five spice and the sweet lemongrass like 50 percent of each packet and then use the rest for coleslaw in our live video that was supposed to be a premiere but we were having some technical difficulties with the computer system so definitely go take a look in the live section and look for the latest live that we had and you'll see how we put all this pork belly together and uh, we made pork belly sliders I've said before on numerous occasions that um, I really like these they're gourmet garden Thai seasoning paste and ginger paste um, you just use whatever you need and then just throw it in the freezer after you're done using it and it's just as good for a good long time um, especially when you're empty nesters like us where you know we don't have any children around and um, you know the kids have their own lives and and stuff they don't come over very often um, so we cook for ourselves a lot and we we sometimes eat the same food over and over and over again um, because I really don't know how to cook small meals for two people I've never been able to do that I think it's because in real life I am a chef all right so now we got that going we're gonna add the shrimps to it take off these gloves and we're going to just stir fry these together and we want to keep an eye on that because we don't want to burn that garlic but since it has already been smoked it should be protected at least somewhat now you can hit it with some black pepper and what I like to do is I like to just give it a give it a couple pieces of uh, lime just pitch them right on in there you can dig them out later and just stirry stirry doesn't take very long to cook and then we're going to add our celery because we want some we want some body to it because you know you got soft on soft on soft and then let's see here I already have that open we're gonna add the onion and this is gonna help us to build layers of flavor there and then a handful of this chiffonade of cabbage I did not buy Napa or Savoy cabbage this time around they look kind of lonesome and sad um, at the grocery store and I'm not gonna pay that kind of money for that sort of thing so if you can find it at a bargain go for it but um, if not you can just use this you can also use some other kind of greens like mustard greens or collard greens if you want my dad used to take the leaves of the bitter melon and he would throw his uh, bitter melon leaves into it that was kind of interesting all right so the shrimp doesn't really need a lot a lot of TLC so I'm gonna start building on our flavors we're going to be adding the chicken stock here in a moment now if you 
or looking for something that's vegetarian. You don't have to add chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock and use other types of vegetables, you know, whatever vegetables you can find in your local grocery store. Um, some people live in what's known as a food desert where there's just not a lot of options. And uh, there's food scarcity out there. Um, so if you have to go to a food bank or something like that, you know, be resourceful. Try to pick out some stuff that you can actually use in a stir fry and fancy it all up and make yourself feel like, you know, you're eating in a fine dining establishment of sorts. So, fine you know, dining on a budget. Fine dining on a budget, yes. I think all of us have had to visit a oh food boy, pantry. Rice cake. Huh? Oh boy, rice cake. No, these are noodles. Okay, so now we're. Oh, shoot. Nice job. Wreck it, Ralph. I know, right? God dang. Just dumping it all over the place. So now we're just going to let this get all nice and happy. And these noodles are going to start to soften up on their own. Uh oh. Puppy is upset. Once when that starts to heat up, then the noodles will start to separate. Now these noodles, they actually cook very quickly. Um, this is a Philippine style of cooking uh, noodles, otherwise known as pancit. Woo, 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 woo. Somebody's mad. She's stating her opinion. They're having their own kind of debate in the other room. And this is our lovely sauce, finishing sauce for the pork belly that we made on the live the other day. So definitely go check that out. All right. I'm just going to let that go for just a moment. I'm going to clean up my mess here. Real quick. And of course, we're going to finish it with some pink pineapple. I like to have a little bit of sweet. And um, one of the things that I love a lot when going out to like a Thai restaurant, this is not Thai, by the way, this is not Thai, um, is what's known as pineapple fried rice. And so I've learned to incorporate a lot of pineapple cooked into some of my stir fries. Okay. Sorry, this is a electric stove, so it takes a little bit of time to get these all nice and... Whoa. Hello. No. What will happen is these noodles will start to pick up the chicken stock and uh, absorb it. And we'll end up with a nice, beautiful, beautiful noodle. Dory, no. Huh? All right. No. And we will be right back. Okay, so our noodles are now nice and tender. It only took about five minutes, seven minutes. And as you can see, all that majority of that liquid is pretty much gone. But we want to give it a turny turn. There we go. Now this is where we're going to want to add that beautiful sauce. And there's no spice at all to this. It's just a little sweet, a little umami. And now we're just going to tossy tossy, get everything a little bit coated. And one thing I forgot to pick up at the store was some green onion, but that's okay because this is leftovers. What to do with a bunch of beautiful leftovers? So this is pink pineapple. 
uh, Del Monte's own little atrocity. Um, now, I don't know about you, but if you have an oral allergy to pineapple, uh, to fresh pineapple, um, you may or may not have a problem with the pink ones. For me, I can actually eat the pink one without getting a ton of blisters in my mouth. All right, so there we have that. Now you can add as much or as little as you want. I'm just going to put a little smidge more. So I like it a little on the saucy side. Um, I don't like my noodles too horribly dry. Now if you're looking for something keto, um, you probably don't want to put the sauce because there, there is um, brown sugar and honey and molasses in there. Although molasses is a little bit different type of sugar. Um, you know, it's use your best judgment. So cilantro, whoops, cilantro. Probably a little too much cilantro, just to add a little bit of color to it. Now I just rough chopped the cilantro. We're just going to want to move it around a little bit just to just to get everything all nice and coated and to get everything brought up to temperature. And yes, we smoked the pineapple. It took about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. And there we have it, everybody. Now let's bring it on over to our plating table. We can take a gander at that without, without all that noise from the fan. I'll actually turn the fan off. So one of the things I love you so much. You stole my t-shirt. What? You stole my t-shirt. You're just now figuring out. Just that's, noticed huh? it. <laughs> it's pajama day today, guys. It's pajama day and I'm cross-dressing as Timmy. The gentle nod to Timmy, you know, because he's he's like Wilson from that that one TV show with Tim Allen in it, where all you see is like you know the top of his head from on the other side of the fence. Um, all right, so now we're gonna put some noodles in the bowl, and then we're going to just go in and grab some of that beautiful protein goodness, and make a mess all over the bowl so I am going to have to clean the, the rim of the plate or the bowl. All right, throw a little bit more noodles on there. Try to get a little bit more shrimpies. Get some pork in there. And now we're going to clean the bowl because my OCD says, no, don't show that. Rookie. All right, there we go. Yeah, now for the bowl. Oh. I suck. All right. There we go. All right. So let's go for the money shot. And here we go. We've got our beautiful stir fry with a whole bunch of really nice smoked goodies. The garlic, the pineapple, um, the pork belly. And that's that. Very simple. And like I said, budget friendly. You can use the top ramen noodles and uh, whatever else that you can find in your pantry. So there we have it, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And share. And share and comment how you like your, your bacon and pork belly. So much, Mafia, don't forget. Cook with love, eat with passion. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.